And there's another question I want to ask you, because I heard about this drug that I hear a lot of people are using and it's super expensive. And I'm seeing people who don't have the money or finding the money for that. And I'm going to talk about that because it's, it's becoming popular. But your lifestyle, can you do it on a budget? Like, can you eat your way and it not be expensive? If you don't eat junk food. See, if you go out and buy the vegan ice cream, which is like $12, <laughs> And then you go out and buy whatever the burger is yeah. that's a vegan burger. Yeah. Again, expensive. Now, if you're eating, you know, let's say a meal for me will be chickpeas and quinoa. Okay. That's a meal, bro? No, 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 no. I'm not finished. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> chickpeas, quinoa, a salad. And okay. my salad's got a lot in it. Okay. So okay. I got arugula in there. I got, you know. But no dressing. No, I use dressing, but I make my own dressing. Oh. You know what I'm saying? So I may, I may make a dressing with some tahini, okay. a little bit of agave, okay. add in some, um, you know, like some peppers. Mm -hmm. Now I got a dressing. Yes, sir. Add in a little bit of oil, boom, that's my dressing. So yeah. I make my own dressing. Okay. Because most dressing have, have a lot of sugar in it. That's true. You see what I'm saying? If you look on the side, you'll see it's a lot of sugar and a lot of unhealthy fat like canola oil. I've seen canola oil. See, you know what I'm saying? So, like, I don't want that inflammatory oil okay. in my diet. So I, I, I make my own dressing. So I got a salad there. Okay. I may take some mushrooms, like some lion's mane mushrooms. Yeah. Which, when you cook those, they're more like a steak. Wow. Um, or I may take some oyster mushrooms. Yeah. Which, when you cook those, they're more like chicken. Yeah. And so, like, people always ask me, like, well, if, you, if you're eating plant-based, why you need to eat things that sound like, you know, stuff I eat. Yeah. No, it's all about texture. And then most importantly, it's all about health. Yes, sir. Because the thing about mushrooms is that they're healthy for our bodies. Okay. As opposed to eating something that potentially has hormones in it. Yeah. That's been fed genetically modified soy and corn, which is not supposed to eat in the first place. You know, and as a result, it's been sitting in this freezer for two or three years. We don't know how long. So... My thing is, like, I try to incorporate everything I need on that plate. I got some quinoa, I got some chickpeas, I got a salad, I got some mushrooms on there, I'm good to go. So That's not expensive when I hear you say all that stuff. Yeah. If you buy it in bulk, because, I mean, you, you're not eating it every single day, but you probably eat that once or twice a week, though, right? Yeah, so I buy a 25-pound bag of quinoa. Okay. I buy the same either 25 or 50-pound 50, 50, uh, bag of chickpeas. Yeah. That's going to last me a while. Oh, that 25-pound wow. bag will probably cost me $100, but it'll last me probably a year or uh, half a year. So I think it's important for people to understand that, yes, when you're going to the supermarket and buying products, it's going to be expensive. But when you're buying your food fresh, it's a totally different budget. Gosh. <laughs> I'm gonna be real. I don't know if I can get to Dr. Bob's level, but I, I, I gotta, I gotta get, I gotta get close to it. Yes, and it really what it is is, I say, add before you subtract. Okay. And what that means is start to add in healthy food before subtracting the. Yeah, because for a lot of people, it's like having a funeral every time they take away a food that they love. Yes. And so that could be, that could be frustrating. Oh, it was frustrating. That could be. You have to take it all away on your on your cleanse. Yeah, so like that's the thing, and so what you do is, you have to add before you subtract. Yes, sir. I like that. And then what you do is, as you adding all of these healthy foods and you find some healthy replacements. Yes, sir. Now you start to think to yourself, well, this is not bad. This is not bad. This, what's the difference between yeah. the two? And I'm getting more health. Yeah. And I don't have to worry about the consequences of eating this food. Now we're on a better sort of path in terms of like having a healthier lifestyle and it's not just a diet. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, no. When I was on your fast, man, I think the first three days was rough. After that, like the next week, man, I was like, dang, why do I feel like I have more energy? Yeah. Like, why do I feel like I'm lighter on my feet? Yep. I was like, this is not bad. Yeah. And then I went back to eating. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you know why people do that? <laughs> it's addiction. Yeah. You got to think. Any other thing we do that, we would call it addiction. Absolutely. If it was coffee and we tried to stop and we knew we need to stop and then we started drinking, we would say, all right, no, I'm addicted to yeah. coffee. Yeah. If it was cigarettes, we would call it addiction. If it was 
Cocaine, we would call it addiction, yeah. but food is a socially accepted addiction. It is. Nobody will mar you about the foods that you're eating. Yeah. But what they're not telling you is that the reason why you're so addicted to the food is because they put baked addiction into the ingredients. Mm. And most of the foods that people are eating, they're not whole foods. They're yeah. foods in box, bag, cans, jars, et cetera. Yeah. And when you look on the label and look at what's in the food, you don't understand all of that chemistry. When you read it, you know it's chemistry. Absolutely. But you don't know what it is. Yes, sir. And most of that is to make the food stay looking a certain kind of way, color and Fact. texture. Fact. Because otherwise, it will break down. Just think, if I put a tomato right here on the desk. Yes, sir. And we waited a week. Oh. You would see mold on the tomato. Absolutely. Okay? And on the desk. Right. But all of a sudden, this thing that comes out of a box, bag, can, jar, it could just sit there for two years. That's not magic. That's chemistry. And that's the chemistry that is slowly but surely taking away minutes, hours, days, weeks, months, years of our life. And that's also what's making us so overweight as well, too. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of that chemistry, which is really toxins, mm -hmm. the body puts all of that chemistry in fat. Mm -hmm. And the more chemistry you put in you, the more the body will hold on and create fat. Mm -hmm. Because the fat is a way that we protect ourselves away from the chemistry. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, if that chemistry was getting inside of the cells, getting inside of the tissues, we would rapidly de decline. And so as we're increasing this amount of fat, especially around the waist, which is the most dangerous fat, mm -hmm. it's storing away all these toxins. And that's what makes it also very difficult for us to lose weight. Because as we try to burn the fat, the body knows that you're gonna be releasing all these toxins into the bloodstream. Mm -hmm. It can't have that. So this is why people can work out and work out and work out and work out and, and not lose, lose any weight. Yes, sir. You see what I'm saying? But then when you're on the detox, what happens is not all of these elimination pathways are open. Yeah. Now your bowels are open. Yeah. Now you're having bowel movement. I sure was. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're urinating. Oh, yeah. It's coming out through the skin. You may have a breakout. I had a breakout. Yeah. So you see what I'm saying? Now all the elimination paths are open. Now it knocks on the door and says, hey, we got room to get rid of this fat. Let's get rid of this fat. So then that's why you start to burn the fat. And when you think about it, just think about it for a second. Here in the U.S., in the 1950s, the obese population was 5%. Yeah. Today, obese, 43%. And if we include obese and overweight, it's 75%. What? Yeah, 43% obese. Overweight and obese is 75%, and it's worse in our community. So you start to understand why we're so sick and then why we're so overweight as well, too. It starts to make sense when you start to look at the fact that 67% of our diet is ultra-processed food, food that's in box, bag, cans, and jars that we've fallen in love with, that we call, we have at our, our, our family gatherings, that we bake, we make our mac and cheese with, but there's no cheese in the mac and cheese box. And so we start to understand very quickly how all of this is tying in and how all these systems are feeding each other. A food system is making you overweight and sick. It's feeding healthcare. It's feeding the drug company. You understand? It's making your insurance higher. All of these things are feeding a system just like this. And it doesn't just start with you as an adult, it starts with our children. Because the vast majority of the marketing is for our children. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So they're being indoctrinated at a very early age, which goes into helping you understand why there's so much ADHD. Yeah. When you start to think about how yellow number five and red number 40 create issues in the brain. Yes, yeah, sir. You see what I'm saying? When you start to think about something like monosodium glutamate that causes you to be addicted and eat so much that you don't even have any restriction or any, any inhibition to say, all right, it's time to stop eating. Wow. So this is why also our, we have childhood obesity rates through the roof. Wow. This is why we're starting to see children have early puberty. Yes, sir. Now, puberty today for a little girl, mm -hmm. compared to what it was for somebody in the 1950s, it might have been like age 13, 14, Fact. in 1950. In the 1800s, it was 16, 17. Facts. Today, we're seeing little girls as young as age seven 
having breasts and starting to have a mentee. So we're seeing the writing on the wall, but what happens every time is they're making something that is common normal. But just because it's common doesn't mean that it's normal. And so that that's one of the reasons why you're seeing this drug Ozempic. Yeah, let's talk about it. Go through the roof.